to speak to us on some of the legal challenges facing refugees in the country is Sharon Ekambara, the head of Lawyers for Human Rights, Refugee and Migrants Rights Programs. She joins us on the desk now. Uh, good afternoon, Sharon, and thank you so much for your time on the SABC News Desk. Sure, thank you. Uh, Sharon, what is the legal status of refugees in South Africa today within the human rights context, of course? Well, I think, you know, the starting point is that currently South Africa mm. has one of the best refugee policies in the world. Mm. And we should be very proud of that. It mm. is consistent with our constitution and it, is, uh, it embraces the concept, the Ubuntu concept of protection. Mm. And it's, it's, it's about urban integration um, and not about putting people in camps. And, and, uh, and, and that's a very significant policy uh, you know, directive uh, which, which embraces the respect for human dignity and human rights. Mm. But we are really concerned um, as organizations working on social justice and protection of human rights that the proposals for amendments to our policies mm. are reflecting a shift of seeing people as a risk mm. and of more uh, tendencies towards encampment. And we, we are really worried about that. Uh, globally, awareness and integration of refugees has been one of the most difficult international policy issues we know. So it's not uniquely a South African problem, it's a global phenomenon. But what are the, uh, some of the major problems or challenges uh, facing refugees and asylum seekers in South Africa from a legal perspective at this juncture? Well, the key, ironically, is for refugees, asylum seekers to get documented and to be able to, you know, the, the I, I think we all know that if you don't have a document, you don't have an ID, mm. you cannot open a bank account, you mm. cannot function, you cannot have your kids go to mm. school. All the basic rights enshrined in our Bill of Rights um, is, is, is denied just for not having documentation. And if you are undocumented, you have the risk of being arrested and, and being deported. And I think that that is a reflection of the crisis of our asylum system in the country, which we consider as lawyers for human rights and various other organizations mm -hmm. as being in serious crisis. Uh, all right, very quickly, I want to internationalize this. this uh, we are running out of time. Now, the poorest countries on the globe uh, look to be hosting the largest refugee populations, uh, while the richest country the least. Uh, why is this, the, this failure, unwillingness uh, to share uh, humanitarian responsibility? It's a very difficult, complex question. Mm. I mean, I, would, I think it is loaded politically it is because mm. most of the migrants are black most mm. of the migrants mm. are coming from the south and Europe is, is it, it's, it's got issues of, of xenophobia it's got issues of uh, uh, fundamentalism and, and the rise of the threat of fundamentalism which has affected how uh, countries have you know failed to ac accept their humanitarian uh, responsibilities Thank you, Sharon, uh, Sharon, for sharing your insights for, uh, on, with us on the SABC News Desk. That was Sharon Akambarung from Lawyers for Human Rights joining us on the News Today Desk. Uh, on to some sports news.